I'm just going to run one final test just because we did have it turning on yesterday. Now I've plugged in the uh, bass controller and an RCA. I've still left the speakers out. Positive, negative and switch wire are in. The system is turned off so there's no current coming down the, uh, the switch wire. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, 12.62 so the volts are coming down the main zero gauge I'm going to go and switch it on in front and let's see if it turns on on its own So the first amp should be on now. Yeah, this first amp came on and that's gone back into protect mode, it's flashing away. I'm gonna try and disconnect this amp all together, see if I can get this to come on on its own. Well, I've just come back to disconnect this amp, which is currently flashing protect mode. See that blue light flashing? And look what I discovered. It's not even connected. There's no power coming to this amp, but it's flashing protect mode. So that's just the weirdest thing. How can that possibly be? Is it the, uh, uh, the switch wire producing that signal? Anyway, it don't make any sense to me. I'm just going to keep trying and get this amp on. Um, that's, just, that's just throwing me out completely now. That's not even connected. How could protect my be flashing? I'm going to... I don't know what to do now. Switch it off and plug that in. Oh. Right, I've disconnected this amp altogether now. There's the live feed going to this amp, and here's the negative. I'm suspecting this, this um, protect mode might be throwing some kind of volt down the earth wire, because that was the only thing connected here. So I've disconnected both and I'm going to try again. Let's see if the volts have creeped back up. They were creeping back up over there. Right, we're back to over 12 volts here on these cables. I'll try again just to try and get this amp on. What the hell? Look at that. It's completely disconnected. And it's flashing there. So it must be getting some it's going down the um the switch wire. That's the only one still connected to it, the switch wire on its own. So it must be throwing something down the switch wire. But it's gone into protect again, you'll see here the volts have dropped. Negative positive on the amplifier. Two volts, you getting that? Two point something volts. So that's the only thing it can be. Something wrong inside here, sending that protect going down this the switch wires. That's the only thing connected to here. Should I disconnect the switch wire from this amp? Why not? I'll just stop the video. 
Right, so negative disconnected switch wire and live from this amplifier. That's completely out of the equation. As it stands, this is still in protect mode, five volts. In order to reset that, as I showed you earlier, I'm gonna undo the live. Take that live out. And that bleeping noise was my uh, tester. And put the live back in. That should have rebooted that now. Turn my tester back on. DC volts. This should be okay now. There and there. No, that's not rebooted. It's still in uh, protect mode. I think it needs to stay out just for a couple of minutes. I'll try again. Um, disconnecting from there. Oh, there's the same thing. Right, take that out again. So that's out completely. Let's test it while it's not in the... Uh, Amplifier. Ah, the 12 volts are back now when it's not in the amp, you see. I was going to show you that. That is not in the amplifier. And we've got a 12 volt reading again. Which means it's in protect mode when I put it back in the amp. Unless it's reset, I'll try it once more. I'm going to give up eventually. I'm just being stubborn. And we already did this out of this out the other day. When we had this disconnected and out, that works perfectly fine. This is sending all the, the shitty signals. And uh, a technician did tell me, in fact, that when uh, these little MOSFET inside amplifiers, if they short out, uh, it can make an amp go crazy and do all sorts of crazy, unpredictable stuff. So we're not going to make any sense of this. But let's see if it's rebooted now. Well, it's kind of coming back slowly. It's slowly building up. Look, watch this. 950, 952. It's like a slow rebuild from protect going back to non-protect. 9.7, can you see that? I've noticed that how it does that. I think the faster way of doing it is disconnect positive, negative and the batteries and then you do those and it, and it does it instantly. Must be some kind of juice in the wires it's trying to push out, I don't know. 9.4, 9.7, see it's creeping up slowly. Eventually, it should go to a voltage where it will allow. I'm going to pause it, let it get back up to 12, and I'm just going to try once more to switch it on with the, amp, the other amp completely disconnected and see if it goes into protect. Okay, I'll pause the video, I'll come back in a minute when that's back up to 12, it's nearly there. Right, it was taking too long. I disconnected from the main power supply, you know that block? Because we said it's weird how it sends a signal to the block and from the block backwards it was fine. Uh, so I disconnected from the main power supply and now we're back up 12.82. So let's see if we can get it to switch on now. Nothing is connected. It's completely on its own. The only difference this time is the RCA. The RCA is in and the controller. I just want to see if I can get it working. Then I want to put the speaker wires down, see if there's actually any sound coming out before it trips out. If I can get to that stage, but I can't even get to that stage up to now. This is my last try. I'm going to try and switch it on, try and get the lights to come on. And here we go.
No, so everything's disconnected on its own, everything in. Turn the switch wire on down there, nothing. Straight into protect, straight into mini little two point something volts. I can read it at the front. 2.2. See if it's building up. 2.6, 2.7, 2.8. I reckon this is what's happening. Look, because this, oh, well, it was going up. Wonder if it goes, gets, gets back up to 12, if it will switch it on. 3, 2, no, it's dropped again. Every time it tries to go over 3 volts, it cuts it out. Okay. I'm not messing about with it anymore. You can see what's happening. Uh, this is the final video. I'll send you all the links now and uh, you can tell me what we've got to do. Thank you, buddy.